Hi everybody, I'm Jay Pierce for the Photographer Academy and today I'm being joined by Chris Whittle, President from Anacrom and we're going to be talking about the new Anacrom baby. So Chris, um, this is it, the ELB 400. Tell us all about it. Thanks Jay. Um, as we know, uh, Elinchrom has been manufacturing lighting equipment for about 50 years. Um, of course, technology's moved us on very quickly um, and what we're creating now is uh, two ranges of equipment. One range which essentially is our entry level system, uh, the D-Light uh, RX1, D-Light RX2, D-Light RX4, BRX250 and 500, all of those units work in exactly the same way uh, and therefore you learn one, you learn them all. Um, and it's very easy for somebody to start off with the piece of equipment they most need now and then add to it the system around that to enable them to do uh, much more uh, photography, that is working faster, working harder and essentially building a business around what may have been a hobby. Um, last year we introduced the ELC uh, Pro HD, the 500 and the 1000. Uh, there was quite a discussion with Mark about ELC being Elinchron Compact and I alluded to ELB being something battery and of course now we have the ELB 400 which is the uh, uh, evolution of the Ranger Quadra. Um, evolution in the sense that it now incorporates a lot of the special features that we had in the, or that we have in the ELC Pro HD units. That's brilliant because I mean, I remember one of the key things that when we looked at the ELC um, last time with you is that the, the, the simplicity now has been simplified in, in a way as well, isn't it? And I know you've incorporated that sort of uh, working now with the ELB. Exactly. Um, and that was one of the things that we really loved about the ELC. So it was great that that's sort of now flowing through yeah. uh, the, 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 the range, isn't it? I mean, the core technology um, advances were um, a much faster recycling time. Well, this unit recycles now 20% faster than the um, Regi Quadra did. Um, We've got a, a much more simple control system um, and again this has got the OLED controls here in exactly the same way as the ELC Pro HD has. Um, but also we've got the special features to go with that. The stroboscopic effect, the uh, sequenced flash and the delayed flash for, you, for combining uh, daylight and flash in, in, in a kind of three-dimensional image where you're involving, or four-dimensional image where you're involving the concept of time as well as obviously the three physical dimensions. So I mean that sort of poses the question really because we're, a lot of people are very familiar now with the existing Quadra. So um, let's talk about the key changes now, the upgrades if you like, the yeah. new, the new, what's new and, and why uh, we're, we're going to move up if you like. Yeah, let me show you. I mean the first thing is that, I mean this is 420 odd watt seconds. Um, it weighs two kilos. The battery has got 20% more capacity, so we've got 360 full power flashes in here. But you're not going to be using full power most of the time. I mean, to put that power in perspective, uh, these are real Elinchron watt seconds. So this unit is 1.6 stops more powerful than a recent competitor that's come into the market that is people are getting excited about. Uh, and 1.6 stops is really useful. Um, I mean, the other thing is that uh, we've got two power outlets on here just like others in the market. Um, if you're going to genuinely use two, out, two light outputs, uh, two heads, um, you need to have a reasonable amount of power. Um, so its compactness, the battery capacity, the sheer power of it is, is a really great starting point. We recycle to full power now in 1.6 seconds. Everything that Ilinchrom do revolves around the concept of full flash curve technology. And the reason we do that is because um, we know that the full flash curve, we can manage the full flash curve to make sure we get very accurate exposure, uh, very accurate colour, and where particularly with some of the special effects, we've got multiple images in the same frame, for example, stroboscopic effects, where images are compared side by side within the same frame, the colour has to be the same, and the exposure has to be correct, otherwise it just doesn't work. So this is a core principle of a Linkrom. But in terms of uh, the other features, um, we've done a bit of tidying up. Um, some people were concerned that it took uh, a little bit longer than uh, they would have liked for us to um, uh, unscrew the caps on the top, so we've now put, uh, created a new 
uh, top panel arrangement where this is a quick access flap. We've got a micro USB uh, socket on here which enables us to do firmware updates much more quickly. Um, we've got the sync connector which we had before but we've moved the um, uh, Skyport antenna outside of the pack. Inside we've got the next generation of Skyport receiver. So that will enable us to do some very clever things further down the line when people are wanting hypersync and that kind of thing. Um, and the display itself is much more simple. The buttons that we've got on the top of here are the on-off button here, uh, the menu button, the modeling lamp button, and then we've got two function buttons here. Remember, the nice thing about the OLED display is that the function buttons can have multiple functions. This isn't a, a simple LCD screen, which is, uh, is either illuminated or not illuminated. This is a proper OLED display where we can dynamically change the function of some of these buttons to make it much easier to work your way through the menu. The most important thing of all with this pack is um, we found that when we moved from the lead gel batteries to the lithium ion batteries, one of the biggest challenges that we had was that we have to manage every aspect of the lithium-ion battery to make it safe and to get the certification for air transport, etc. Yeah. So within each lithium-ion battery, there is a, a microprocessor board which monitors the total history. And that was the reason why, if we just look here, there was a battery readout on the battery itself, as well as being a battery readout on the top of the pack itself. The display on the battery was always much more accurate because of the microprocessor giving the full information so it could give real time the battery capacity where the pack itself is only measuring the voltage. Because of the microprocessor being driven all the time, um, it was very important and is still very important to recharge batteries once you've finished, before you put them away after the job is done, and then to charge the batteries again just before you set out, if they've been left for two or three weeks or whatever. Um, if a battery went into a deep discharge situation, because there could have been a fault with the battery, we had to turn the battery off because, um, again, to have all the accreditation for, uh, for uh, safe air transport and so on, that was, those are the rules and regulations. What we've built into this pack now is the capacity to resurrect a deep discharge battery. So if per chance you forget for any reason to recharge your battery, um, this unit will resurrect a deep discharge battery. So the resurrection of the battery, that's, that's a big deal, I think. You know, that I've never known any uh, battery available to do that, so I think that's amazing. Um, so the kit itself, so if we're starting from scratch, we're going to talk about compatibility with older models and so on, because the Elinchrom range is great and its versatility. If we're starting from scratch, we're going to buy this. What are the kits that are available or going to be available? Okay. I mean, if they've got an existing kit, they can obviously just add an ELB 400 power pack. And then they get all the ELB functionality with everything else, with all their existing uh, quadri equipment. Um, if they're buying uh, a kit, all of the ELB 400 kits come only with the lithium-ion battery. Although they will work, of course, with the LEGEL battery. Um, there is the one-head kit, which includes battery, pack, charger, Skyport transmitter, and one head. There is the two head kit, which simply adds to that a second battery, a second head, um, and the case. Uh, in terms of the choice of the heads themselves, we've got the A head for action work, which gives you the very shortest flash durations. We've got the, uh, what was the S head, which is now the Pro head, um, which um, will give you about half stop extra uh, light output because it's a little bit more efficient, but also the Pro Head has a slower flash duration, so that's really the hypersync head as well. Um, there will be additional heads uh, that will come become available in the fullness of time, um, but um, obviously people will see those as and when they arrive. In the same way that, as far as the Skyport's concerned, there will be add-on features to Skyport um, to enhance uh, hypersync functionality, etc. If you want to make what we used to call a twin kit, you would simply take two one-head kits and put them together. If you do that, we'll give you the bag to put it in free of charge. Um, the most important thing is that, uh, because it is a modular system and it's very, very portable, um, if you want to buy, for example, a two-head set, which is giving you about 420 odd watt seconds, um, and simply add one extra pack, 
Skyport will, pull the, will, will enable you to control the two packs together, and it gives you the equivalent of 800 watt seconds. And the advantage to that is, and when we did it recently just with our existing quadras, is obviously we were, had a, a four head shoot on, um, and obviously we, we were able to do two, two, two heads from each pack, yeah. but we were able to separate them, work them at a distance, and create the light, you know, effectively creating studio lighting setups on location, which was amazing. Yeah. Uh, and I think that adds into um, our love of Alinchrom, the versatility um, and the compatibility. Uh, and we will quickly mention now before we finish that the fact is that anything that you existingly have works across the board, isn't it? Oh, yeah. uh, I think that, and uh, what I thought was interesting earlier, you were just saying some of the, maybe the earlier Quadra heads uh, might need a simple upgrade to be compatible to the LB, but you were talking about a simple board change that was yeah. next to nothing in cost. And can be yeah, different. when we first moved from uh, uh, lead gel battery to lithium ion technology, the very earliest um, of the lamp heads needed a, a board replacement, which I think the cost of the board is about 20 pounds. Um, when we, um, introduced the lithium ion technology, the very earliest power packs themselves needed a new control panel on the top. And again, that was just a simple top board and the price of that was about 80 pounds. So at the very, very worst, if you want to integrate ELB 400 into an existing system, you might have to replace a board in an existing uh, um, uh, Quadra unit to use the lithium ion batteries. And you may have to re replace a board in an existing Quadra head, but otherwise everything's compatible. And I think um, for those people uh, that were, of course, loyal customers, um, all of that was labor free. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, um, one of the things that we've noticed just from having our hands on this for the first time, um, it's slightly smaller, it's a little bit more compact, it's much lighter, and the fact that you've given us more power faster duration times and the simplicity in the control now even though it wasn't particularly difficult with the quadra um, again the fact that you've refined that and made it much more user friendly it just seems to get better and better and really really impressed with that um, fantastic insight into the new lb 400 today with chris we're going to be doing now a more advanced uh, user's guide so that's one to be checking out you'll be able to see that also and the previous films that we've made for the elc um, that we've got on the site as well. So take a good look at those. As I said, the Ellencrom range, the compatibility and the versatility is incredible. That's why we use it. And I uh, just wanted to thank you, Chris, for coming in and sharing that with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.